Jesus Christ to come die for our Savior, our Lord Jesus, died for our sins. I'm Sweet Daddy Grace, Marcio de Grace, and I'm here to tell you, welcome. Give yourself a big hand, please. <laughs> I'm so glad you are here. You probably heard some things about me, and today you get to know the truth. <laughs> I'm going to tell you first that in 1902, I came to America from Brava. You know, I come to America from Brava. You know why? Because, because the Lord, he told me that I have a mission to come. So I give through my spirit, Jesus Christ, he come to tell you that things need to change. That's why I come to America, 1902, as a young person. Then in 1922, I get inspired to build the House of Prayer. What is House of Prayer? House of Prayer is House of Prayer for all people. Mm -hmm. It's important I tell you that because I'm going to tell you the history. When I come from Barbara, it's a Portuguese. When I come, when I come from there, the people here they see me and they think, "Oh, this man, because the way he looks, he's a Negro." I say by them all, oh, I'm an immigrant. What are you talking about? I'm in no class system. You see, they was negligent at that time. They treat me below. They want to put me below here. But I tell them because of the spirit of Jesus Christ, I come here and I defend and I tell all people. You see, you're probably thinking when you go to House of Prayer, you see only one people. No, it's for all people. The reason in America is because down south, if you were to go to churches there, they'd be segregated in 1950, 1960, or earlier. Two people, two different people. But my house of prayer was for all people. So I decided to choose that. 350 million followers, all the way to Los Angeles, California. And let me tell you, I go to Los Angeles, California from New England because I love the weather. Everybody like the cold weather? Yeah. I didn't like cold weather. I like this. I like to be in a place that's warm. I, 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 I was born in a place that's warm, so this is where I want to go. Do you know also, I tell you it's important, because I speak to you and, and if, you know, sometimes they think when I speak, they think I'm speaking in tongues. I'm not. I speak this way because of my language, but here in America they thought I was speaking in tongues. I wasn't speaking in tongues. I was speaking in this language, which also they thought I was illiterate. They thought that I wasn't educated, but I was. I was studying on my own, self-study. You go to school? Yep. You like your teacher, right? Yep. But you know where the library is? Yep. You go and you study, right? By yourself, it's important to be self-study. So I was learning the, the Bible, and I was also learning about the history and things by studying and becoming, doing this alone. Yes, I was flamboyant. If you ask them, the people tell me, well, you're not wearing your, your, your nails today. Or you're not wearing your, your red, or your, I had a, you know I have a, a car here. Cadillac, red, white, and blue under the Coliseum, under there. <laughs> they put it somewhere, I wish I could drive it, but that's not going to happen. So, anyways, I was flamboyant, I wore the nails, I did things, but that was to attract people, you know. As you say, it was advertising. Try to bring people to the congregation. Congregation, the biggest one, was in Newport, Virginia, which is now still today one of the most important congregations for the House of Prayer. Again, people from all over. I would go to Cuba. I would go to L.A. I would go to Baltimore. I even have one in Baltimore, Maryland, is a church. But all of this is just to preach the word of God. What kind of preacher was I? I was preaching from the teachings of Jesus Christ. I was not an evangelist and I was not a cult leader. I was trying to preach and I was being used by, as I told you when I came to America, to be the vessel or to tell the word of God. And this is where this was coming from. So, everyone happy? Clap your hands. Mm -hmm. right. Clap your hands, please. Does anyone have any questions? Did one. But the rumor that I was married, I had angels and things. Uh, no, no, they were part of the congregation, 
did women. Women helped me join my congregation. So, I'm glad that you came here.